Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study the area of polygons. And the principle behind finding the area of a polygon is very simple. All you do is divide that into triangles and find the area of each triangle and then add those areas. So, for example, if I have this kind of strange looking critter, I divide it into triangles by drawing diagonals from vertex to some other vertex. Okay, and in a polygon you can always do that. Now, it's divided into triangles. And if we were to find the area of the polygon, we just find the area of each triangle and then add all those up. Now we're not going to find the area of this polygon though. Let's go on and find first the areas of these and then that one. There's plenty of work there. For example, here in the grid, I'll first divide this into triangles, and there are several ways you can do that even, okay? For example, maybe I'll see that if I draw a line here, then it becomes two triangles, like the upper triangle here and the lower one here. The upper one... Okay, we better write something down so we don't get confused. The upper one has a base of one, two, three, four, four units, and then the altitude is here, one unit. 4 times 1 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. Upper triangle is 2 square units. Lower triangle has the same base. If I take this as my base, 4, and then this as my altitude here. Okay, that is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. Okay, and now I add 2 plus 4 is 6. Total, 6 square units. Over here I have one, two, three, five vertices, so it's a pentagon. And I can again divide it into triangles, but being in the grid I'll show you another met method that I like, and that is that we will enclose it in a rectangle first of all. And I'll draw a rectangle here so that as many vertices as possible will be will be touching the sides of that rectangle. The idea here is that it's very easy to calculate the area of this rectangle. And then we will be left with triangles here that we need to subtract. And these triangles here are right triangles. And it's very easy to find the area of a right triangle here, in the grid especially. So the area of a rectangle here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. That's 30. 30 square units for the rectangle, and then we subtract from that all these little areas. There's this triangle here. It's a right triangle, see? So I choose as its base this side, and then altitude this side. So I get 3 times 1 divided by 2, which is 1.5. Okay, I've done this one. It was 1.5, 1 1.5. Now this triangle here, again, it's a right triangle, so I can choose altitude here, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units this way. 5 times 1 divided by 2, so this one has the area of 2.5 square units, minus 2.5. And, and then, over here, I have a right triangle, 2 times 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. The area of this one is 2 square units, minus 2. Then over here we have an odd shape, but I can divide it into right triangles and a square. There's this right triangle, which is 3 times 1, so its area is 1 and a half. Then there's this square, and then this way is 3 and 1, a triangle. So this one has an area of 1 and a half, 2. And then this one is one more. So we subtract from 30 all these, and then we get the area of this one here inside. Now what do we have here? Here's 4, here's 3, 7, plus 3 is 10. So we subtract a total of 10 square units, and the final answer is therefore 20 square units. Nice even number. I didn't purposefully make it so, it just happened to be. I really like this method. Let's go on and find the area of this trapezoid. Okay, 
I will do it by dividing it into some triangles and being a trapezoid I will get a rectangle here in the middle. So I should draw a perpendicular line here so that I will get my triangle here. Because my protractor doesn't quite reach there so I have to just kind of eyeball it this time. There. And over here too. Now I have two right triangles and then a rectangle here in the middle. And then it's time to measure all these. This triangle here has a base of 14 and a half centimeters. Then this rectangle here is 30. And this is 8 and a half. Then I need the height. Something like that. Now I'm done measuring, we are ready to calculate all of this. First of all, let me just put, this is triangle number one, this is then rectangle two and triangle three. So we'll do triangle one first. Its base is this, 14.5 centimeters, altitude here, and then we need to divide by two. So I need to multiply these two numbers here. Just the simple multiplication, three times five, Add there. Now, notice there's two decimals here, two decimal digits. So the answer is to have two decimal digits. And then we need to take that divided by two. That's not done yet, you see. You multiply this times this and then divide by two to get the area of a triangle. So I'll take half of that, which would be 212.425. Once I get all these done, I will definitely round these numbers, okay, for my final answer. Next, we'll take the rectangle. That's easy, because you just multiply this side times this side. So we will have 29.3 times 30. The zeros, and then over here, 3 times 3 is 9. And then I need to put... A decimal point in my answer, there's one decimal digit here, so one there too. The answer here is therefore 879 square centimeters. And then the third triangle, I mean the third shape, the triangle. Okay, again we need to go base times altitude and then also divide by 2. I will go 29.3 times 8.3. Again, I have two decimal digits in my factors, so two decimal digits in the answer. 249, oh, I'm sorry. The danger is it is so easy to forget to divide by two. Now, the answer, we need to divide this by two. I'm going to erase... Now we're going to divide this by 2, so I get 1. Quite a decimal here. So 124.525 square centimeters. And now we're ready to find the area of the whole trapezoid by adding those three. And then rounding. Rounding probably to the nearest 10 square centimeters. Okay, let me add now. There, five and five. All right, 1215.95 square centimeters. But like I said, it needs rounded. Let's just round it to nearest 10, so we will get 1,220 square centimeters. Okay, now the principles are not difficult. It is not difficult to figure out that, okay, I have a triangle, triangle and a rectangle. And then I just need to find those individual areas and add. The difficulty in this is actually to keep in keeping track of the calculations because there's so many to do. Record your 
partial results to keep track of them, okay? So you don't get confused in these many calculations. I hope this was helpful.